Hi, Kerry here. Have you seen the movie Don't Look Up? It's with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, and they're trying to convince the President of the United States and the world that there's a huge asteroid coming towards the United States or the world, and it's going to blow it up. And they know it. They The science has proved it, but they can't convince anybody of it. And and everybody just ignores them. Have you ever, did you see that movie? Well, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel that that the world is about to change. The, the, the healthcare world's about to change. Uh, we, we've, I, I've told you about the book, um, The Code Breaker, and Jennifer Lawrence, and then Jennifer and uh, Emmanuel Carpentier, here's a picture of them. They screamed at you. It's about to change. And the Nobel Peace Prize people said, you're right. Here's the award. That was in 2020. And still, nothing is, nobody's paying attention. Even, even the author of this book, uh, Walter Isaacson, appeared on 60 Minutes and said, this is bigger than the digital revolution. Well, hell, the digital revolution, the digital market is $11 trillion. And, and he's saying this is bigger. But yet, I'm getting my butt kicked in this, all the stocks that I've picked that I know that are talked about in this book as in the stock market. And then, and then, I woke up this morning, I did not know, this was Saturday, I did not know what I was going to do a video on, and this was the headline in um, the uh, review section of the Wall Street Journal. It says, can the technology behind COVID vaccines cure other diseases? And I said, holy, holy moly, glory, hallelujah, the world is waking up to what I have known. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Glory, hallelujah, the world is waking up to the health cure revolution. And I want to share with you what I've learned, and then I want to ask for your help, because this is moving faster than I can keep up with, and I need your help. But first, this is not financial advice. No, this is Kerry sharing his studies and his knowledge and his experience in hope that I can help you achieve three goals. And that is to make better investment decisions. Please don't invest in AMC theaters. Um, and, and then to learn to keep more of what you make. Um, don't buy on margin and don't, don't take your short-term gains and pay capital gains. So learn how to keep more of what you make. And then most importantly, learn to invest in people who are smarter than you and build some family wealth. Anybody that you have ever run into that ended up in a, in a menial job, uh, janitor, we had in Birmingham a janitor. He died and he was a multimillionaire because he bought stock before anybody knew it was anything. He, he bought a local bank and he just kept it and he kept adding to it. And it was bought out by a major bank and, and he died a multimillionaire. That's how you make money. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video because I think it's important. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, first I want to share with you, I use some tools to help me uh, decipher what I'm going to do. You're going to see uh, I use um, trading views charting constantly, and I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman who he, um, later this week who actually uses it more effectively and uses it more than me. I also use Seeking Alpha. When I find the name of a company I don't know anything about, I go to Seeking Alpha and I dig deep. And then I use Stock Cards. Stock Cards is a uh, AI-driven um, comparison of stocks that, again, gives me a leg up. That's, those are three things that are in my toolbox. The other thing in my toolbox is the Wall Street Journal. And I was alluding to, to this article that the world is screaming at you right now that the uh, can technology behind COVID 
cure other diseases. And in this article, they go into how big pharma, and I did a video about this, but they, they brought some others to my attention, are recognizing that these small biotech companies are taking this technology aided by artificial intelligence and changing the way we're going to distribute medicine. Think of it this way. God made a perfect thing when he made human being, but the human beings, like most every other, everything else, screw it up as they move through life. They, in, they eat the wrong foods, they take in preservatives, they, they smoke cigarettes, and, and it screws up the map of the body, and that's called the genome. But Without the screw-ups, the body is really built to take care of itself. It has a first, uh, a, a first defenders, is that what it's called? Um, the first uh, people who appear to a problem, and you see it when you cut your hand. Your, your body takes care of that cut and closes up because every cell in your body has the ability, they're called first responders. But what happens is because of the screw-ups that we have put in our ancestors have put into our bodies, the first responders don't have the tools to correct the problems that we bring upon ourselves. So modern medicine has recognized these first responders. They're called T-cells. And they have found ways to give those first responders tools to correct the mistakes that we've made. That's in essence what a, what a uh, antibody is. That's what the vaccine for the COVID is, a coronavirus is. They put something into your body and every cell in your body is armed with something to kill that virus. Well, now they've taken that a step further and they're now believing they can do it for sickle cell anemia, childhood blindness, they're even working on cancer, and liver diseases, and heart diseases. And I've been talking to you about this for the last year. And I have given you the names of 14 stocks that I believe that are going to um, be a part of this. And I'm not sure, and I, but it's becoming clear in what way. And I want to show you what's happened over the last year in these stocks that I've been recommending. Now, those of you who are a part of my tribe and bought you know what's happened. This is a picture of from trading views of the stocks that I bought uh, over, uh, over a year ago. And they include Illumina, which is up 27%, and a number of others, all the way down to, um, I believe this is CRISPR, and it's down uh, 64%. So it hasn't been a pleasant ride. It hasn't been a pleasant ride as well, because what has happened is they went up, as you can see, and because risk was on, because there was an overflow of money in our society, because the government threw $9 trillion at it, and the market said, we got so much money, let's take a risk on investment, because they read the book I read, but then when risk came off, when the liquidity started to dry up, and when some margin calls started to come, we see that my stocks dropped large. <laughs> they dropped very heavy, and they are down. But just like in the movie, Don't Look Up, the comet is coming. It is coming. But this comet is a good comet. It is genome sequencing and genome editing. As I went through this article, and I did a video last week where I shared with you some other um, big pharma who were buying into uh, some of these small stocks, and alerted it you to it. Well, in this article from the Wall Street Journal, they even gave me more names. Uh, we talked last week about Century th Therapeutics. Uh, now we're looking at, in this article, I no, it was in that one, I was also alerted to Charisma and uh, Bio, uh, Arbor Biotech and Metagenimo, Metagenimo, and in this article, I'm alerted to Bio, BioNTech, 
B-I-O-N-T-E-C, uh, Sanofi, and Acuratrus. Um, Bionotech is a uh, publicly traded stock, currently pr- trading for $176, and it is entering into a collaboration with Pfizer. Uh, Sanofi, S-A-N-O-F-I, is a publicly traded stock for $52, and Moderna has entered into an, a relationship with them. And then uh, Acutase, A-C-U-I-T-A-S, is a private company, and they're also involved with, with Pfizer. And what we're seeing, and as I've said in other videos, this is the smart money. This is uh, Moderna and, and Pfizer and Bristol-Myers saying, we're not going to be left out in the cold. Um, we're going to get involved in this, and we need to make up some time. The race is already in the backstretch, and we aren't on a horse. So what they're doing is creating collaborations with these smaller biotech companies. Now, also, they are being involved with the companies that I own currently, CRISPR, Caribou, Editus, Nutella, um, and, and Beam. And then they're all dependent upon the genome sequencing companies that I own, uh, Illumina and Pacific uh, Biotech. Now, this I've put in on a, on a spreadsheet, and I want to share that with you. And the easiest way for me to do that is through my Discord. Um, and, and what I'm doing is finding out who the key people are in this, And um, we're going to, within our team of presenters, we're going to reach out and try to to come in contact with some of these people. One of these companies is very involved with a professor at the University of Alabama, and I'm going to reach out to him. And and he's involved in sickle cell anemia, and I'm going to see if I can't find out more about that. But what what I really want to share with you today is just like in don't look up. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. I do kind of look like him. And, uh, and, and I'm basically saying, this is coming. Trust me. This, here's the science. Here's the science. All you have to do is look at the science. And uh, the, 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 the politicians say, we don't have time for that. We got other issues we got to deal with. Well, isn't that exactly what's happening in our world today? This is coming. It, 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 it It's uh, treated like a false alarm. And here I am screaming about it for the last year and getting my cut, my, my butt kicked on price. But I know it's going to happen. So... I got more work than I can do. And what I'm doing and what we do every Friday on at at our Discord, uh, those who, who pay for the, the uh, pa- Patreon, they pay a whopping $10 a month. <laughs> I mean, can you find a better deal, $10 a month, and, and you learn about the next, uh, dig- uh, the, something twice the size of the digital revolution, and the prices are down at, 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 at basement prices on these stocks right now. And all you've got to do is help me do some research into which are of these horses are going to be the runner, winners. I'm already bet on about 14 of them. I, I need to sort through and figure out, do I need to add to my stable? Do I need to cut my stable? Or do I just hold what I have? And I need your help to do that. In order to do that, as I say, I want you to do get to the, to your toolbox out. And I hope it has trading views and seeking alpha and stock cards in it. And you help me and I'll help you. And as a tribe, we'll make some good investment decisions. I honestly believe this is much bigger than GameStop much bigger than AMC theaters or anything else that you've seen come down the pipe. I just bet on the horses a little early, but I'm okay with that 
because the payoff is going to be so big, it's twice the size of the digital revolution. I'm not calling it the healthcare revolution. I'm calling it the health cure because we're not going to care for diseases anymore. We're going to cure them. We're going to take them out of our bloodline. Science is there. We add artificial intelligence to it. We add the government's desire to make sure that pandemic or worldwide illness never happens again. And it's going to happen. And this is your opportunity to make an investment of a lifetime. Join the tribe. Come to bestofusinvestors.com. Give me your name and your email address and come join us next Friday as we talk more about these companies that are going to change the way you live. All right. That's my Saturday uh, uh, sermon. And I'll see you again tomorrow in church.